Hello everybody, this is Satya Malik from LearnOpenCV.com. I'm very excited to announce the best project award for our course, Computer Vision for Faces. It has a cash prize of $1,000, but the journey people went through is priceless. The response to the course was overwhelming. We had opened the course for only 10 days and 429 students enrolled for this course. In this course, we started with the basics of image processing and computer vision. There were no prerequisites. You only needed to know C++ or Python. We then moved on to topics like image filtering and image warping. And then we learned about facial landmark detectors and how to train your own facial landmark detector from scratch. It was an interesting mix of theory and practice because as a result of all this theory, we also learned how to build your own Instagram filters as well as Snapchat filters. And this course was so much more than just faces. We learned about machine learning techniques like image classification, object detection, and tracking. And in the end, we learned about very advanced techniques like face recognition and emotion recognition using deep learning. So it was a very comprehensive course, a very good starter course for somebody who has no experience in computer vision, machine learning, or artificial intelligence. First, let's start with notable submissions. These are very good submissions, but they did not win the prize. The first project in this category was by Serban Pekka, titled Person Identification from Skull X-ray Images. He trained a skull detector followed by a landmark detector, as shown in the slide, these detectors help them achieve superior results in collimation, which is the process of limiting X-ray exposure only to the required part of the body. They also use the landmark detector to improve their windowing or contrast stretching algorithm by focusing only on the right region of the picture. Finally, they presented preliminary results on recognition based on the human skull. The second project in this category was YouTube Suggestions Based on Emotions by Amit Pandey, Rudy Melli, Saiful Islam, and Srikant Vidapanakal. As part of this project, the team built an application that would suggest YouTube videos based on the emotions recognized in a video feed. So it was a very cool application, and as you can imagine, it required a lot of engineering effort The third project in this category is Face Counter by Leo De Silva. The interesting thing about this project was that it combined a lot of things that people learned in this course. For example, he built a face detector and then used a multiple object tracker to track multiple objects. He also built a convolutional neural network based eyeglass detector. And finally, he detected whether the person in the scene is wearing a particular uniform or not using uh, color histograms. The last notable mention is a project titled Face Clustering by Durgesh Trivedi. In this project, he took a bunch of images of different people and the goal was to create a folder per person. So the algorithm automatically identified different people in the photographs and made separate folders for every person. And now it's time to announce the best project award. We have two winners. It was a tie and we decided to split the prize instead of doing a coin toss. One of the best project award goes to image colorization using deep learning by Junhao Yu. The goal of this project is to convert a grayscale image to color with no additional input. Now the problem boils down to predicting the A and B channels of a color image in LAB color space, where the L channel is the grayscale image just provided, we need to find out the A and B channels. In this project, three different neural net architectures were explored, including one which was based on VGGNet and another one which was based on autoencoders. The final results were not perfect, but very encouraging. 
in this example, you're looking at the ground truth on the left and the output of the colorization algorithm on the right. You can see that it correctly colors the banana yellow and the apple red, but it doesn't quite find the boundary exactly all the time. Here's another result. On the left, you see the ground truth, and on the right is the result of colorization. You can see that the image is very plausible. The sky is blue, the grass is green, even though it is not the same color as the ground truth, but it is very plausible. The trees are green, and the cloud is approximately white. So these are results which have been obtained by no human intervention. The model was trained on millions of images, but after that, there was no human intervention at runtime. And finally, here's another result, which is very interesting because you can see that it did not get the original color because in the training data, there were a lot of blue sky images. So it chose the blue sky instead of the orange sky. However, this is a very plausible colorization. That brings us to the second winner of the best project award. The project name is Doggy Smile by Alzbita Vlachenska. The problem statement is really simple. How do you take the best picture of your dog? It's not that simple. First of all, the dogs do not look at the camera when you want to take a picture. As part of this project, in the first step, she used OpenCV's deep learning API to load a dog detector based on single shot multibox to detect dogs. Once the dogs were detected, the challenge was to grab their attention. This was done using a few different whistle sounds, which made the dogs look at the camera. Finally, she wanted to confirm that the dogs were actually looking at the camera. And for this, she used DLib's dog facial landmark detector and using some ad hoc pose estimation determined whether the dog was actually looking at the camera or not. And if the pose looked good, she took a picture. Many, many congratulations to Junhao and Alzbita. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in computer vision for faces, please head over to courses.learnopencv.com and join the waitlist. We will open the course for enrollment in the next few weeks. Thank you so much.